Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to a little demonstration of our new instrument called Project Herald. Now, Project Herald is an instrument that's designed to be played with one hand by hovering it over one of these four nodes. And as you hover it over four nodes, there are note progressions that play. Uh, and those, the speeds and the sounds of the, uh, the music change as you move in between the notes. Um, this is developed for those that may have limited range in one or both of their hands that prevent them from playing an instrument traditionally. Um, and we decided to do this to um, try to aim towards giving users a deeper uh, musical experience um, so that they're able to express themselves musically um, with little or no musical training and um, hopefully over time with little or no instructions that we would be able to place the instrument in front of somebody and they would just be able to um, explore the boundaries of the instrument without us needing to give them explicit instructions on how to play it. They'd be able to just kind of play and intuitively uh, find their way around the instrument. The way that the instrument works and the way that the notes are determined is through what's called a first order Markov chain. Now a first order Markov chain basically takes a piece of music and it looks at the transitions between each note and it creates a probability table that will over time determine which note gets played next as you move your hand over the notes. Now just breaking that down a little bit more, what that means is that if you have a song where you have the note C and that transitions into the note D three times and then you have another transition in the song where the note C translates, transitions into the note F one time. So it, trans, it transitions into the note D three times but it transitions into the note F one time. Okay. What happens is that when you eventually play the instrument, when the instrument comes to the note C, three times out of four, it'll transition into the note D, but one time out of four, it'll trans transition into the note F. And what that ends up doing is creating an effect that is, um, that, that creates musical transitions that are in the spirit and similar to the song that you've put in that you've that you've analyzed but not exactly the same so in this program what we've done is we have um, in, input happy birthday as our MIDI file that we analyze um, so what we need to do is we need to train the instrument to um, to our hand position so what so I'm just going to walk you through that exactly how that works so I'm just going to go over here to the code so we've, come, we've used uh, Open Frameworks for this, uh, which is a C++ framework. I'm just going to compile that right now. Okay, linking. Okay, so now I just need to select my device, which is this one. Okay, so here's my GUI. So normally what would happen is uh, if there's a MIDI file to be parsed, uh, then uh, it would just say parsing uh, for a couple seconds when it starts the program, but it's already been parsed. So now if I go over to the instrument itself, I'll set this here. Okay. okay, so you hear that the notes are kind of like happy birthday. Okay. Now if I hit the randomize button, it will change the sound and the speed at which the notes are playing. So, um, okay. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find three sounds that I particularly like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those sounds. Now what that means is that I'm, I need to correlate and associate the position of my hand over, over or in 
between one of these nodes and what it does is it saves my hand position and it associates that hand position with the uh, speed and type of sound that's playing at that current time. So if I put my hand over node one and I press save, it will save that sound to that node or my hand position to that node. Okay, so just gonna press and hold save for a minute. Okay. That's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna choose another sound. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit random again. Okay, so that's very slow. Okay, so that's quite fast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on node three. Okay, and now I'm gonna choose one more sound. That's cool. So I'm just gonna save that to node two. Oh, I accidentally hit the randomize button again. That's okay. I'll hit save. Okay, so now I've got three sounds that I like that are, that are a little bit different, a little bit different speeds. So now when I hit this train button, okay, what it's gonna do is it basically creates um, a linear regression model uh, where when I move my hand in between those three different spaces, it transitions, the sound transitions between those different speeds and different sounds that I've, um, that I've created within the instrument. Okay, so if I go like this. Okay, now if I move it towards node two. Now if I move it to node three, node three was a bit faster. But notice if I move, notice if I move in between the two sounds, it smoothly transitions. Now, if I give the um, instrument more uh, examples, or if I save it longer, the longer that I save it, <clears throat> the more that um, it's able to correlate that hand position with the um, with the sound that I've saved. Okay, so um, so when I smoothly transition between node t node two and node three there will be a smooth correlation between those sounds. So if I go for the fast one. And so this allows um, the user to play a song that's in the spirit of happy birthday um, without having to worry about the technical aspect of pressing down strings or pressing down the, um, the keys on a piano and um, just allows them to express themselves a little bit more intuitively. Um, so you can remove, you can move your hand toward, uh, to the node and then away from the node as quickly as you would like. So. see as uh, we can develop this further the possibilities that we have for this for the for the instrument um, I'm just going to talk for a moment about the actual design of the instrument um, so what we're doing I'm just going to close this out here so I can talk without it playing um, so this uses a uh, modified Arduino board called the bare conductive touch board uh, and this is a board that has 12 nodes or sensors and those sensors can be mapped to playing a sound by, by touching it or um, as we've used um, distance, uh, distance and conductive sensitivity. Um, the board has also come with a, uh, a paint, a conductive paint that Bear Conductive have developed and what we've done is we've used a wooden, wooden chopping board um, and created uh, some, some, uh, some different um, pads here uh, with the paint and just attached those to each one of the nodes. And then we protected it here with a little silicon case. Um, 
And that's essentially the instrument itself. And it's nice because the paint doesn't really rub off. And um, yeah, so it's, so it's quite, quite a simple instrument. And over time, what we would like to do is just take uh, the board, maybe move it underneath the, uh, underneath the board or inside the board. Um, we could also take these nodes and we could actually put the sensors themselves uh, underneath the instrument because the, uh, the sensors are quite sensitive. Um, so that essentially walks you through a demonstration of the instrument. Um, hope you enjoyed this and I'm looking forward uh, to us developing this further and uh, presenting you with more results.